Hi, so here for Music Radar, we're at NAM 2019. This is the Arturia booth. This is Baptiste. Hello, Baptiste. Hello. And this is the Micro Freak, which we had no idea was coming. And thank you for bringing this because it looks awesome. Yeah. It sounds very awesome too. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about the architecture and how it came about. So, uh, the idea was to build a kind of a new instrument, a kind of weird, uh, in the weird range of musical instruments. <laughs> and it's called Micro Freak, like we have the brute for the analog part and now we have the freak, yeah. which are kind of weird. Like. And uh, so the architecture of the synthesizer is uh, based on digital oscillators. Uh, it's paraphonic, so you can have uh, up to four voices of, uh, of uh, oscillators yeah. that then go to the analog filter. Yeah. We kept this part because we feel it's important in the hardware products. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you have a uh, lot of stuff, uh, modulation sources. Some of them are, are like uh, inspired by uh, modular world, like uh -huh. for example that thin envelope. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Stuff like you can find find on, on the mass form uh, make noise for example, with white rise full, uh, you can loop it and uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, with the oscillation part, oscillator parts, we have eleven uh, uh, engine types. Yeah. And uh, some of them have been uh, we work with Emily Gillet from uh, Mutable Instruments, uh -huh. and some of them uh, came through from uh, the Blades module. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. And you have like stuff like FM, Wavetable, VA, uh, uh, chords, uh, uh, vocal synths, yeah. so lots of stuff. That's so much stuff. In yeah, there. that's all go through the analog filter, which is inspired by the ESEM, and yeah. we uh, actually added the resonance, so uh, it sounds like, uh, yeah, like, nice feature. Yeah. Well, let's have a listen. Show yeah. us some of the stuff that you can do. So, uh, this is the preset. So yeah. you, you have like 256 preset slots that you can uh, assign freely. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like a punchy bass kind of uh, future music uh, studio uh, preset. Right? Yeah. Uh, and if I, give, if I come and uh, another preset, uh, that's here. This is like really characteristic of the, of the digital uh, oscillator inside. Yeah. Lots of harmonics. Uh, you can get them through the filter, which is really nice. Uh, what one cool thing also is that you have all these sorts of modulation. You have the modulation matrix, which is inspired by the matrix grid one. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the cool thing is that you can assign on the three last columns any parameter you want uh, with, which uh, is represented by a knob on oh, the synthesizer okay. oh, right. so any I can say I want to assign for example the engine type which is quite nice to modulate on the synthesizer okay. and modulate it with the LFO uh, so so it's kind of unpredictable that's the worst example but sometimes you have really nice uh, presets coming out of that because it's un un unpredictable yeah, yeah, uh, obviously yeah. But it came out real this time, but uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, get back to uh, it. And then uh, you have like this weird keyboard that we should emphasize because uh, actually this is a plate keyboard uh, based on PCB. Uh, it's a work of art, I must say. It yeah, does cool. hey, it does look yeah, good, yeah. right? Uh, and it's in the, in the spirit of the Bukla stuff, yeah, uh, yeah. also the, the AMS synth stuff back yeah, in the days. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, what also one cool thing is that you have uh, a built-in arpeggiator in, in, in there, so you can. So let's show the preset. So. Alright. Uh, well, yeah, now you're here. Also, you have a built-in sequencer, so I can activate it here. Uh, it's kind of uh, the, in the key step way, so I enter notes like this, and then you just play it back. What's, which is cool is that you can uh, uh, sequence polyphonic, make polyphonic sequences, so you can have chords on several steps. Uh, okay, if I cool. want to edit my steps, I go. Um, I can go back to, uh, to where uh, I want to edit them. You have two sequences. Uh, so you can switch from A to B to, uh, to yeah to yeah, more possibilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and one cool thing also is that this strip here that can be used as a bend. Yeah. 
fish pan stuff and also the freaky part is in also uh, integrated in this feature which is spice and dice spice and dice like that. Yeah. you know what it is no no, no. <laughs> yeah that's why we wanted to do uh, something really kind of weird so you just uh, need to make a sequence Sequence, yeah. Sorry for the wrong notes, and uh, you can say uh, wrong notes, no such thing as wrong. Yeah, notes. there are no wrong <laughs> notes, right? Miles Davis said that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can say, I want to modify the gaze and trick sequence a bit, but I don't want to program it. So I can, I, I can say, I want to add spice on my sequence. So you can on the spice, you set the spice amount with the the shrimp here, and you, go, you see the uh, yeah. amount here, uh -huh. and then you roll the dice. You see that it's not regular anymore. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah really organic. You can roll the dice again to have okay. different stuff. Yeah, and it's literally you are rolling the dice. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, so the good thing with this synthesizer is you can go really deep, but it's really understandable with the beginners because it's a basic architecture, architecture of synthesizer. You have oscillator, filter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. easy to grasp. You can go really far yeah. with it. And uh, modulation for days. Yeah, all good. yeah, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, and uh, the price point is uh, what? What, you, what would you say? Well, I want Rock it to be. Um, I, I, I'd say I want it under three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. That's Check it. Check me out. Check me out. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Oh, yeah. so it's it it's three. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Brilliant. And that's euros, your dollars, or? Yeah, uh, yeah. Same for euros or dollars. Yeah. Two ninety nine. Yeah. And Brilliant. For UK be... pounds, we're a bit less. Not much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. And uh, yeah, it should be out around airport this year. Well, Baptiste, thank you so much for that. That's thank very you. awesome. Thank you. Uh, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share wherever you're seeing this video right now. And uh, check out musicradar.com for all the latest NAM news as we bring it to the show floor. So, see you soon. Cheers.